done. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this infected Valentine look, which was supposed to go up last week, but it's going up this week. Now I'm first going to start by applying a little bit of concealer around the center of my face. Now I don't want flawless face whatsoever. Use what you've got. So if you've got any acne or redness, keep it. It's going to add to this look. I just want a bit of a base to kind of work off of. So I'm applying that and then I'm going to powder my whole face, not just the concealed areas, but my whole face. I don't really want it too shiny, so this is going to take away from that. Allow me to control it a bit better. Then I'm going to contour my face using this middle shade from the AC on Tour palette. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. I'm going to bring that all the way down to the jaw because I don't want this to be clean. I want it to be messy. I want my face to look super gaunt. I'm going to bring that along the jawline and around the temples. Then taking a nice creamy Kajal liner, I'm going to run that over my eyelids. Don't use any base. Don't wipe away any excess oil from the eyelids. Use it. We want this to look disgusting. We want it to look slept in, greasy, gross and creased. So use what you've got. If you have dry eyelids, then use a little bit of Vaseline over this product and that'll give you that same appearance, same look. I'm also going to use that to tight line my eyes because I don't really want any of the flesh showing through between the lashes. I'm going to curl and apply mascara. Then I'm going to go on with my Ben Nye FX stack. This is in Burn. I'm going to start with that pink irritated color. I'm going to bring that around the edges of the black that I just applied and into the inner corners. This is going to give a really irritated look to the eye as I want this to be an infection who has taken over this person. Not necessarily zombification, but a little bit of an infection. Then taking that purple color, I'm going to bring that underneath the eye and create some eye bags. We're just going to keep layering colors under here until it looks like I'm super tired, super sick. Then I'm going to go in with the red shade in this stack and I'm going to apply that into the uh, waterline. I did not check if this was safe for the eye, so please use a red eyeliner if you do have one. So after I've done that, I'm then going to go in with the, um, this looks black, but it's actually a deep, deep blue color. And I'm going to further intensify the um, bags under my eyes. Throughout this entire tutorial, as dark as the makeup goes, I continue to darken this area so it all balances out evenly. But you want to look super tight and infected. Going back to that pink color, I'm now going to use that around my nostrils. Make sure you do the eyes before this bit or sanitize the brush. I'm going to make my nostrils look super irritated. Think about when you've had a cold and have had to use terrible, terrible tissues. That's what you're going for. Now with the purple color, I'm going to add irritation around my nostrils. I'm even going to blend that down into the nostalgial folds, which are those little like laugh lines down from your nose to the corners of your mouth. I hate emphasizing this area, so this was really tough for me, but you want this to look gross, you want this to look like an infection, you don't want it to look pretty. Then I'm going to use my Gimme Brow to mess up my brows a little bit, add a little bit more volume, and I'm brushing them up. I want them to look messy, I want them to look undone. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the uh, black color, I'm going to apply that to my lips. This is going to kind of give them a really infected gray sort of look. I'm not really trying to get it in the, um, in the lines, but if that happens, great, because it's going to emphasize the lines of the lips. Then going with a deep purple color, I'm going to do the exact same thing, focusing more on the inner part of the lip. This will make sure that we don't look too dead, merely infected. So once you've done that and really kind of blended it out, I'm then going to take my orange stipple sponge with the red irritant, and I'm going to bring that all the way around my lips. Sorry, that was the pink irritant first, but we will be adding red a bit later. This will add a very irritated, infected look to the face, making it look super creepy. Now I am blending that out with my fingertips because I don't want it to look too done. I want it to look like a rash almost. Then I'm going in with that more pinky red color and then I'm blending that out with my fingertips again. Again, we're just going to keep laying in these colors until we get what we like. I am going to be focusing more of the red right around the lips though because we will be adding a bit of blood later and that'll kind of give a nice shade to the blood. Then I'm taking a bit of my alcohol activated paints and I'm placing the vein tone um, around my eyes. I'm just obsessed with veins guys, I'm sorry, and they have to go around my eyes. So I'm just kind of creating little veins around my eyes, around my lips, although they do sort of get covered up um, by the fake blood later on, so you can avoid your lips if you want. Then I'm adding little patches of veins all around my skin. Um, so I'm doing this kind of on the cheeks, I'm also emphasizing the rather prominent vein I already have in my forehead to really add to that infected look. Then I'm just taking a little bit of uh, the blood alcohol activated paint and focusing that towards my lips. 
Then once I've applied my red, uh, put in my red contacts, I'm going to take a bit of Ben Nye's Fresh Scab Blood and a cotton tip and I'm going to apply that around the corner of my mouth. I'm going to kind of put this all around my mouth as if I've just had a bloody meal. And then there you go guys, you can leave it at that if you like, but we're going to have a little bit more fun with it. In this jar, I have a heart that I made using Mickey's Heart Gelatin Tutorial. There you go guys, that is your infected Valentine look. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It's kind of creepy and I absolutely love it and I've kept the heart for further videos. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I have something rather personal for you and I'm sorry if this kind of throws you off a little bit, but I thought it... I'm not coming. <laughs> Tastes delicious though.